Hello everybody and welcome back to Song Fua. My name is Celep and today we're going to be doing chapter 6. So let's go ahead and load this up. And this one's going to be a little bit more interesting because we are going to be dealing with these Mycan warriors who are a bit tougher because they are resistant to silver or they are weak against silver and we don't have any silver weapons yet and they cannot be lured with bait. These are more civilized type of werewolf that are actually just uh, basically shapeshifters. So this is Mysteries and Fury. We will be getting a little bit of story on these guys in a second after we set up our defenses. So we now have the firewall which is going to be vital in this map. We also have a new path there. So this one can be a bit tricky if you aren't uh, using the right strategy, but it's not too difficult. Basically, we have a Grand Wolf up here on the top left. He is no problem. We have a Mycan Warrior going for the barn, and a Mycan Warrior going for the mill. So, first let's just take care of this wolf, because he really is no problem at all. Now with our new firewall, we can actually place a wall and they won't go through it unless you cut off all paths I'm gonna actually reposition that because I'm using like one too many squares there unless you cut off all the paths in which case they will run through it and disable the part that they run through so we don't want to cut off all the paths so we're gonna cut that so he has to go this way closer to us we're gonna place a bait here I mean, I'm sorry, we're not going to be doing that. They do not like bait. We are going to be placing a uh, hanging net. And then over here, this is the guy that can give you some trouble. But we're just going to go ahead and we're going to make a wall here. Across that area. Then we're going to make a wall here. And another wall here. Make sure you can't get through there. Another one here. Another one here. Now that might seem a bit excessive. And it kind of is. But really that's the only way to buy us enough time to do this correctly. Considering uh, we they aren't lured by bait. And we're going to do one more thing. We're going to go to the general store. Actually the saloon. And we are going to get, where's that, this uh, caribou, because that's going to be very useful since we don't yet have a silver weapon. So let's go back. And that's basically it for setting up this map. Let's go real quick and spend our skill point, which for this one, I am going to do... Let's see here. Take 20 percent longer. I'm gonna go ahead and do second wind. When we kill enemies, we get stamina points. That'll be useful for running from place to place. Let's confirm that. And we are also going to go ahead and get a bunch of money. And that means in the next mission, we can probably buy a decent weapon. So we're gonna go ahead and start here. Let's make sure we do have our caribou. We have our armor. Everything's set up. So, let's go. We are kind of almost out of ammo. We still have six shots, so I wouldn't say that we're almost out of ammo yet. But once you're under a certain amount of shots, I think it's seven, it starts telling you. But here is a little bit of a cutscene. There's a blood moon tonight. I go to meet the ancients. Can I go with you? No, I would rather go alone. Will you be back before dawn? Perhaps. The Mykans are unpredictable. Before you go, can you tell me what this blood moon means? It's a bad omen. The invisible beast. 
will soon come to test us. The beast that many Wepiquan, Josephine's mother, spoke of before leaving us? The one that will destroy our tribe? I'm not sure yet. Many Wapkwan would have been wrong. I will have to search further. Okay, so we've got those villagers or those tribal villagers that are entering the story and the plot is definitely thickening. But for now, we're going to kill us some werewolves. So let's go ahead, wait right here for a second. Once he starts to come, we're going to ah, yell. Let's go! Dang it! We're going to back off. As you can see, that Grand Wolf is already dead. He basically might as well not exist in this map. We should be able to make short work of this guy. There he comes. He's going to wait right there for a second. Okay, so he is pretty resistant, as you can see. But because we softened him up a little bit, he's not that big of a threat. Now we just got to make it over here time to deal with this guy which we should be able to do because we placed all those firewalls if you don't place those it's pretty tough to get over there in time I'm sure there's some way to do it but I prefer to go this route we're gonna go ahead and get our four times damage oh man he just didn't put that and that's gonna help us out this run here especially with that powerful blow and yeah that map is pretty easy if you set those firewalls up correctly so that's it for chapter six and i'll see you guys again soon in chapter seven and if you haven't seen the story yet make sure you stick around and watch this quick cutscene right after we punish white skins who profane sacred land we ain't profane nothing, and we're not the source of evil on your territory. I bring warning, that is all. Red hair, leave, or be sorry. You have three moons. The guardians of the forest, the Mikans, are restless. They believe that the son and the daughter of Mani Wapikwan are responsible for the presence of evil in these lands. What are we going to do? Those white men disgust me. We don't need them to protect the village from their prophecy. With all the respect I owe Mr. Meshishu, maybe we don't need the two brothers, but we certainly need their sister Josephine. If she has even a fraction of the power her mother had, she'll be of valuable assistance to us. There's no indication she inherited gift from Manny Wapikwan. Those whites are already lost anyway. Go and bring them to me.